All right, today we'll call this one the three-quarter Craigslist tool haul. First off here, I paid a little bit for these. Um, the guy wanted 50. I told him 40. He went for it. These are SK half-inch SAE impacts. They go from three-eighths all the way up to one and one-sixteenths. Um, I do not have a set of shallow impact sockets that are half-inch. I've just been using the old Craftsman Dunga Dunga Chrome. Call it good. But 40 bucks, uh, really couldn't pass that up. SK is worth a lot more than that. And all these sockets seem to be in pretty good shape. Looks like they used the shit out of the 15, 16, the three quarter. But other than that, some of these look new. Like they may have just a little bit of rust on them. That other than that, yeah, uh, happy about that. This next guy wanted 65 bucks for all this stuff. Uh, I got them down to 50. But here's a proto socket. This one is also plum. This one is a proto. This one says Japan. This one also says Craftsman. This here is a right two and a quarter. This one here is a Japan two inch. Another right two and a half inches. Cornwell E516, so that's probably 16 inches. Yeah, 16 incher. Cornwell breaker bar here. It says 21. It looks like a 21er. That even has detents on it. No, it's not snap on, even though it looks like it. It is a Cornwell 3 quarter inch ratchet. Pop her in and out, she's two pieces. And this is by far a lot straighter than my snap on handle. Of course, you know, a little heat and a little beat, and you can get her straightened right back up. So, yeah, three quarter, all of it. And I got this guy right here three quarter inch impact. I've uh, cleaned some of the gunk off of it. I'm trying to find a name. And I can't find a name. It does have a crack here. I went ahead and took this back plate off. Uh, that doesn't affect anything. It doesn't actually even go all the way through. It's just a surface crack on this side. So I don't think I really need to do anything to that. Just don't drop it anymore than what it's already been dropped. But yeah, no name on this. It does have a plate back here where the sticker was on it. It doesn't say USA, doesn't say Japan, doesn't say China, doesn't say anything except for oil. And forward, reverse, oil daily. But it does have a couple little lines down here, and then this nose piece here, which is pretty interesting. To me, it looks like a Snap-on or an Ingersoll or, or a Snap-on that was made by Ingersoll. I don't believe it's a Chicago pneumatic because there's no CP in it but I don't know so if you have one of these maybe yours has the sticker on it still and you know what it is uh, let me know because I would love to get a rebuild kit for this and rebuild her because most of the time this three-quarter stuff is pretty road hard and put away wet I'd love to rebuild it I have been inside there all the veins do come out and move and slide it's got oil in it and everything, it's fine. But I would like to go ahead and put a kit in it to see what I can get out of it. But yeah, so there's the three quarter hull. I did also get one other thing. I went to the hood and got me another, well, this one says 3.75 horsepower, but you know, the Briggs and Stratton 3.5. I paid 20 bucks for this. Because my other Briggs I had, she finally bit it this year. So, and it was my fault totally. But, this seemed to be like a pretty good looking machine. Uh, I did notice. And uh, this helped come down in price. There's a wire here, he runs up to the spark plug. You ground it out back there on the handlebars to kill the engine. So this thing does need a little bit of work in order to make it you know 
reliable and safe again. I mean, that's not really unsafe. It's just kind of a jank-ass way to do it. All the tires aren't look good. The deck's good. There's no holes in it. Well, other than that one, but, you know, no rust holes. I give 25 bucks for this. It's going to work for the end of this year, anyway. It's the little tinkering, and she'll be done. Up and ready. Ready to roll and mow some dirt and some dust. And some dead grass. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Love, hate, hardknocksforge, gmail.com. Don't send me any panties, because they never fit.